Hey guys, Dillo304 here, as you know. Welcome to the third installment of the Dell Latitude E6400 upgrades. Um, so now that this laptop is my main laptop, uh, I'm going to go ahead and completely fix it up. And what I mean by that is I've already purchased a new LCD back cover, which includes new hinges. Uh, I bought a new LCD bezel because I broke this one, as you can see. So, yeah. I bought, I broke this one, so I bought a new, I just, instead of just buying a new bezel, I bought all new parts for it, so, and I also bought a new palm rest, so this laptop is going to look 100% brand new. But, as you can see, slightly out of frame here, I've also bought another upgrade for it, which is the Samsung 840 Pro SSD. So, yeah, this is going to make this computer fly. Um, so, here you can see all them specs. It's got a five-year limited warranty, so that's very cool. Uh, it has read up to 530 megabytes per second and write up to 390. Uh, now, I'm not sure if... This is only a SATA 2 notebook, so I'm not sure if that's going to affect it. Uh, but, you know, other either way, I don't really care. It's still going to be very, very, very fast. Uh, so I don't... I don't really care that much. Um, so yeah. And for the people who regularly watch me and are going to comment below saying, why don't you just put this SSD in your main build and the Corsair SSD in this, it's because I don't want to reinstall Windows twice. You know what I mean? I don't want to have to set up two computers. And my custom build is more than plenty fast uh, in its current state. So yeah, this Samsung SSD is just going in in the E6400. So, yeah, as you can see, it comes with two of these stickers that look like this. Uh, I won't be putting them on this palm rest, because, well, I won't be putting one of them on the palm rest because, uh, you know, I'm getting a new one, so I don't want to waste one sticker, but, yeah. So it's 128 gigabytes, by the way. Uh, it's only, it'll, this one, uh, this computer only has an 80 gigabyte Western Digital Scorpio Blue in it, so, yeah, it's, even with an SSD, it's going to be a larger size, so that's pretty cool. So, yeah, I'm just going to open this up, put it my key, okay, so let's go ahead and unbox this baby, uh, so we open the box, the box is made out of like a plastic type thing, it's very cool, it's not paper, uh, so pulling the SSD out here, you can see we are greeted with the actual SSD right here, looks very nice, uh, we'll look at that later, but uh, going back here, um, we have our Solid state drive installation guide. I'm not gonna need that, but yeah, don't don't drop it. Don't shove a screwdriver in it, and don't shock it with shiz. Uh, I think I dropped something. Hold on. Oh yeah. Now drop the stickers, which is arguably the most important part, in my opinion. <laughs> Two Samsung SSD activated stickers. So I will be using one of these on my new palm rest when I get it. So that's gonna be that'll be cool. I'll save that. Oh, and I think there's something else in the box. Oh yeah, here we go. Oh, manual and software. I'm not gonna use that. It's an SSD, what more do you wanna know? So, if we go ahead and remove the SSD from the packaging here. Wow, very light, as are all SSDs. And it has a really, really nice touch. Uh, it has a nice silver chrome uh, accent around the entire drive. I think that looks really good. And it's orange in some places, which is cool, because orange is my favorite color. A40 Pro, there you go, 128 gig. This is very cool. This is going to be awesome. So, I'm going to go ahead and grab my screwdriver. We'll go ahead and flip this laptop over, being careful not to damage it any further than it already is. Uh, yeah, like I said, can't wait to get all that new that new stuff. So all you have to do is unscrew these two screws that hold in the hard drive and then it slides right out like so. I think that's... Oh. Okay, I think it's out now. So now we just flip the laptop over real quick, get the screws out. Uh -huh. Two screws. Flipping the computer back over once again. You can pull the hard drive out now. I think, yeah, there we go. So, here is the current hard drive that's in there. 
with an 80 gigabyte Western Digital Scorpio Blue. So now I have a spare SATA drive, so that's cool. Uh, and it's held in by a couple of screws, so we're going to have to get rid of those. And I believe this is a 9.5 millimeter height drive standard, and that the new Samsung is a 7 millimeter, so it's going to be a little thinner. Should still fit just fine though. There we go. One screw. Oops. And that's it. Oh yeah, okay, so it's just held in by a, a prong on this side and then there's a screw. Very cool. So comparing the the thickness, yeah, the Western Digital is definitely definitely a lot thicker, as you can see there, but that shouldn't matter. Let's wipe off the Samsung drive. This thing has, looks really nice, I swear. Uh, so here we go. I believe it goes on like this. Uh-huh. There we go. Oh, I see. Okay, yeah, it's going to work fine. i to take this screw. See if I can get it in the camera. I put it on there. I take my driver of screws. Shove her in there. Screw this puppy in there. Yup, yup. There we go. And it could be a little tighter. That's better. Okay. So, there we go. We now have the SSD on the Caddy. Let's go ahead and slide it back in. There we go. Screws line up. Everything is hunky dory. Put this in there. Screw that in. Very short screw, so it doesn't take much to screw them in. Okay. There we are. Um, let me actually, okay, there. Just turn down my fan so it shouldn't be too noisy in there. Yeah, now we have one. Samsung 840 Pro SSD in there. I'll just put the whole hard drive in there and keep it in the box. Why the hell not? Now, I'm going to flip the laptop over. I'm going to wipe it off even though I'm getting an entire new assembly. I still care. And it doesn't stay closed all the way either because I messed up this front, this corner. So the bezel does not stay on over there. But, if we open her up. And there we go. I'm just going to keep the camera right here because it's a really good angle and has really good lighting from the window behind the camera. So, very cool. So there we go. Let's go ahead and give her a plug in. And then we shall turn it on. F2 for setup. Okay. And system information it is recognizing. The 128GB SSD, I know you can't see jack shiz, but we will zoom in for you guys there. Whoops, sorry. As you can see, if it focuses, yep, there you go, 128GB HDD, even though it's an SSD. Uh, before I do this, I'm going to go ahead and change the... Okay, well that was strange, my camera just gave me a lens error. I guess it didn't like that. Alright, so zooming in, there we go. That's good enough. I'm going to change the SATA mode from IRRT to um, AHCI so we can have proper trim support. Yes. Attention, the E model, E module. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. Good. Yes. Let's apply. Okay. So I applied the settings. Now I'm going to open my drive and go get my Windows 7 64 uh, bit uh, installation disk. There we go. So, yeah. Alright, let me go get my disk. Alrighty, here we go. This is Windows 7 Home Premium, but yeah, it's kind of gay. I have professional. I have professional on here, so I might just have to do an anytime upgrade to professional because you know that's just how it rolls okay so let's go ahead and exit and I'll hit F12 for the boot menu okay I'm gonna boot from CD or DVD rather 
I love this lighting, man. This is what happens when you do videos on a warm summer day. Really liking this lighting. So it's gonna load files. This, this might take a little while. It shouldn't take too long because, or to actually install Windows 7, it shouldn't take too long. Maybe 10 minutes because it's an SSD. So, yeah. But I changed it from IRRT to from IRRT to AHCI, so we have proper trim support in Windows because the the trim support is only supported if your drive is an AHCI, even though IRRT. Uh, is an is an improvement upon HCI, but it, it just has some business features that I don't really care about. So yeah, there you go. I'm gonna I'll be right back once this thing is done loading and stuff. All right, I am sure you guys have seen a Windows 7 installation more than once, but who cares? We'll film it anyway. English, English, U.S. Yup, yup, yup. Next. All right, I accept them license terms. Okay, so, 119 gigabytes. Oh, no, I don't want to make a new partition. I want to, but, uh, hey, what the heck? Oh, do I have to load a driver? Wait, what? What? What now? I have no idea what I'm doing, to be honest. Okay, back. All right, I have to re have to restart the Windows installation. I don't know what the hell I did, but yeah. All right, you know what? I'm not even gonna film this. I'll be back when the Windows is installed because this is really boring. So yeah. All right, I feel really stupid now. Um, I'm used to when you get a new hard drive, there's a partition on it already, so I didn't even pay close attention, but it, I, I just looked, I just remembered and looked at the video again, and it said, un, it said unallocated space, so, yeah, kind of a waste of time. I could have just, yeah, I, I, sorry, it's my fault, I thought it said it, there was a partition on it, so, yeah, you don't even need to format it. Anyway, yeah, I'm just gonna, I'll film some parts of the installation, but, you know, not a lot, because you guys have seen this a thousand times, I know. A word about the so-called bottlenecking that's going to happen here. The only sort of bottlenecking is going to be the sequential read and write, which, you know, is copying files. It's going to be limited to whatever SATA 2's top speed is, I think it's 300 megabytes a second or something. I don't know. I, I, don't, I don't know this crap off the top of my head. But whatever SATA 2's maximum, you know, speed in terms of, you know, sequential, you know, file transfers is going to be bottlenecked. I'm not going to get the whopping 530 megabytes per second read and 390 megabytes per second write. I'm not going to be getting those speeds. But the what matters is the random read and write, which is which is actually what makes an SSD feel fast. It's not the file transfers, it's the random read and writes. Uh, in that respect, it's not going to be bottlenecked um, because you're only getting 20 to 60 megabytes per second uh, in terms of random read and write versus 0.5 to like 2 megabytes per second on an HDD. So it's still going to be very, very fast. The only thing that's going to be bottlenecked is the file transfer speeds, but, you know, I don't copy super huge files, you know, from computer to computer or from hard drive to hard drive. Like, I don't have a, a, a solid state drive, uh, you know, an external solid state drive, so it's, that's not even going to matter anyway, but, yeah. So, it's not really going to be a problem. It, it, this computer is still going to be very fast. It's just not going to take, um, it's not going to it's not going to feel slow at all, and it's not going to be slow. It's just going to take a little... It's, file transfers are not going to be, you know, as fast as they would be if it was on a SATA 3 interface. So yeah, that's just, that's just to clear that up, sort of. Yeah, so there you go. We are still expanding Windows files. We've been doing this for at least 25 minutes now, so... Hopefully after it's done expanding all these Windows files, uh the rest of the installation will speed up a little bit. So, yeah. 
All right, we are at the point where we are restarting, and then we should uh, finish the installation because it already installed features and updates, apparently. So yeah, it's only been three minutes since I stopped recording, so yeah, I don't think it's been 25 minutes expanding Windows files. I, I'm highly exaggerating there because I'm, I'm sitting here watching this thing and, you know, using my custom build, and five minutes feels like one minute. Yeah, see, we're completing the installation now. So this should be done in another five to ten minutes, and I can see it installed the graphics drivers on its own, so that's cool. Uh, I just re I just got done re-downloading all of the drivers for this thing. Um, some of them are only available in 32-bit, which didn't make any sense at all. Um, but hopefully Windows will install most of the stuff on this computer, so, yeah. I got all the drivers installed last time, so I can do it again. Anyway, yeah, I'll update you once this is completely installed. So, yeah. Alright, well, by the looks of it, it's installed most, if not all, drivers for this computer, so that's cool. I know I'm going to need to install the chipset, probably, and the webcam. So, other than that, though, it installed the graphics driver, the wireless driver, and I think the audio. I'm not entirely... Yeah, there you go. Okay, so... Cool. Very cool. So, Windows is installed and I'm already connected to the network. So, I'm going to go ahead and start setting this thing up. But I'm not going to film any of that because I know that would be extremely boring and stupid. Uh, because you guys have seen, you know, the SSD, uh, or Windows installation so many times. So, yeah. That is going to have to do it for me, guys. Um, but, yeah. This computer ought to be a lot faster with the Samsung 840 Pro SSD. So I'd like to thank you guys for watching this upgrade video, and I will have another upgrade, well it's more of a repair, but it's an upgrade in my eyes, uh, video next week. Um, I will be replacing all of the casing on this laptop, the palm rest, the bezel, and the back cover. I'll accept everything except the bottom, bottom assembly basically. So yeah, definitely stay tuned for that. I will be filming that, but yeah, this computer should be really awesome now so yeah thanks for watching this computer has made in a very very stark improvement in terms of how fast it is it is so fast now it installed all of my drivers automatically which was very cool I didn't have to install anything everything worked automatically I don't know why my oh my it's because of the display but yeah anyway that is the uh, the upgrade video for the Dell Latitude E6400 laptop. Um, now it has a Samsung SSD. So that is pretty much it for the hardware upgrades in terms of the specs and the actual hardware in this laptop. Uh, the specs it has now, it's probably going to stay like that for a while because I don't need... Uh, I was thinking about going with 8 gigs of RAM for this thing, but $200 for 8 gigabytes of RAM seems like just a little bit too much for me. So I'm not gonna do that. Uh, I wish my camera wouldn't make, wouldn't like focus on the screen. I have to point it down. Yeah. Uh, but anyway, yeah. The specs that's gonna, the specs it has right now, it's gonna stay like that. So, yeah. So definitely, like I said, stay tuned for the uh, the upgrade video next week where I replace um, almost the entire housing of this laptop to make it look brand new. So, yeah. Yes. Yes! Yes! Here are my uh, um, test speeds for my SSD. Uh, so as you can see, we are getting about just about the maximum possible on SATA 2. So, yeah, pretty sweet in my opinion. Uh, even though I'm not getting 500, um, close to 300 is more than alright. So. Yeah, very cool. I think this was one worthy upgrade.